Okay, so next we proceed to process of spermatogenesis. So first of all, you have to know the definition of spermatogenesis. So what is spermatogenesis? It is, it is the process of production and development of matured sperm. Ataupun secara ringkas, spermatogenesis ni adalah proses di mana sperm terhasil. Okay, so where does spermatogenesis is occur? So it will occur in semi nefarious tubule of testis. Okay, so let's say this is the structure ataupun this one is the lumen of a seminiferous tubule. So if you look at the diagram here, inside wall of seminiferous tubule lies spermatogonia which are diploid cell that form sperm. Means that this one, dia akan bermula dengan okay, spermatogonia. Okay, and then from this spermatogonia, bila berlaku proses of spermatogenesis, later it will produce sperm. Okay, so spermatogonia is diploid cell okay and then sperm is haploid okay and then between spermatogonia there are sertoli cell so this is sertoli cell okay so what is the important of sertoli cell in the process of spermatogenesis okay dekat mana kita jumpa sertoli cell it will be found in the wall of seminiferous tubule maksudnya dekat wall of seminiferous tubule here it has sertoli cell so what is the function of sertoli cell it will provide nutrients for developing spermatids okay so kalau kita go through secara ringkas the process of spermatogenesis okay kalau kita tengok dekat sini Okay, sebelum spermatogonium, actually it has the primordial germ cell. Okay, yang tu nanti saya akan explain kejap lagi. Okay, so this is spermatogonia. So, when spermatogonia divide by mitosis and differentiate, so it will produce primary spermatocyte. So, primary spermatocyte is still deployed. But what happened to primary spermatocyte? It will divide or it will undergo meiosis 1 and produce secondary spermatocyte. So here is secondary spermatocyte and then what happened to secondary sp uh, spermatocyte? It is already haploid. Kenapa haploid? Sebab primary spermatocyte is undergo meiosis. So ingat, one sahaja kita kata berlaku proses of meiosis daripada diploid cell dia akan membentuk haploid cell. Okay, and then what happen to the secondary spermatocyte? It will undergo meiosis to and produce early spermatics. Okay, and then what happen to the early spermatics? This is the structure of late spermatics. Okay, so once spermatids get the nutrients from the sertoli cell, so it will undergo differentiation to produce sperm. Okay, now to produce sperm here. Okay, so sperm is haploid. Okay, so next we go through the detailed process of spermatogenesis. Okay, so remember, first of all, if the question asks you to explain the process of spermatogenesis, first point you have to give the definition of spermatogenesis. So what is spermatogenesis? It is the process of production and development of matured sperm. And then where does this process is occur? It will occur in seminiferous tubule of testis. Okay, so ni adalah detail proses. Macam mana kita katakan proses of spermatogenesis can occur. So if you look at the diagram here, okay, so ni adalah uh, kita tengok dari segi diagram. Okay, di sebelahnya adalah dari segi explanation. Okay, so first of all, it will start with primordial germ cell of embryonic testis. Okay, so this is the primordial germ cell. So what happen to this primordial germ cell? It will divide by mitosis and differentiate into spermatogonia stem cell. Okay, so once primordial germ cell divide by mitosis and undergo differentiation, so it will produce spermatogonia stem cell. Okay, and then what happened to the spermatogonia stem cell? It will divide mitotically to form spermatogonia. So spermatogonia is diploid cell. So if you look at the diagram, so this is the spermatogonia stem cell, stem cell. So this spermatogonia stem cell will divide mitotically and it will produce spermatogonia or spermatogonia. So remember, spermatogonia is diploid cell. Okay, and then what happened to the spermatogonia? It will divide by mitosis and differentiate into primary spermatocyte. Okay, so here is the spermatogonia. So once it undergo the process of mitosis and it will undergo differentiation, so it will produce primary spermatocyte. So remember, primary spermatocyte is still diploid cell. Because of what? 
meiosis belum lagi berlaku. But what happened to primary spermatocyte? It will undergo meiosis one. Ha, so kita tengok dekat sini. Once primary spermatocyte undergo meiosis one, so it will produce two secondary spermatocyte which is haploid. Maksudnya secondary spermatocyte adalah haploid sebab primary spermatocyte dah berlaku meiosis one. Okay, and then what happen to the secondary spermatocyte? It will undergo meiosis two, then it will form spermatic. Spermatic is also haploid. Okay, so as the spermatocyte develop, they are being pushed towards the lumen. Macam yang saya dah tunjukkan dalam diagram tadi. So what happen to the uh, spermatic, what happen to the spermatocyte as they develop, they are being pushed towards the lumen. They akan ditolak ke arah lumen of the seminiferous tubule. Okay. And then, if you look at the structure of spermatic, spermatic are non-motai. Non-motai means dia tak boleh bergerak. Kenapa tak boleh bergerak? Sebab tail of the sperm does not develop yet. So, what happen to the spermatic? Okay. So, spermatids will get the nutrient from the Sertoli cell and spermatids undergo differentiation. So, once spermatids undergo differentiation, so it will form spermatozoa or matured sperm. Okay. So, I repeat again. Okay. Kalau kita tengok dekat sini, based on the diagram, it will start with primordial germ cell in embryo. So, it will divide by mitosis and undergo differentiation to form spermatogonia stem cell then what happened to this spermatogonia stem cell it is also divide mitotically to produce spermatogonia or spermatogonia so remember spermatogonia is diploid cell and then what happened to this spermatogonia it it, uh, it, it will undergo mitosis and differentiate to form primary spermatocyte. Primary spermatocyte is also diploid cell. Why diploid cell? Because meiosis does not occur yet. But what happened to primary spermatocyte? It will undergo meiosis 1 and produce secondary spermatocyte. So secondary spermatocyte is haploid. Okay, why haploid? Because primary spermatocyte is already undergo meiosis 1. Okay, and then what happened to the secondary spermatocyte? It will undergo meiosis 2 and produce haploid spermatids. Okay, and the spermatids are non-motai. So, what happened to the spermatids? Okay, it will get the nutrient from the Sertoli cell and undergo differentiation to form spermatozoa or sperm cell. Okay, so what you have to do is, awak mesti kena ingat the sequence of event in spermatogenesis on how to explain from primordial germ cell until it will become spermatozoa.